Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome back to SevTech Ages. So, we've got something that we have to do today, and that is to tear this thing down finally. So, this building may have looked amazing when it was first built, but the later builds have made it look very shabby, and I'm not really thrilled with the way that it was making things look anymore. And then, the wonderful events of the last episode with the ghast. Yeah, that kind of sealed the, the nail in the coffin for that. But yeah, this thing will be coming down today. Before we get going on that, though, we have a couple of things here. First off, Wandering One has dropped off a chest for us over here. And it says been meaning, meaning to give these to you. And we have some cocoa beans. So brown dye. That is great. We will be able to be making tons and tons of brown concrete. Brown concrete powder. Uh, cookies is something that we need. There's a whole bunch of stuff that needs brown dye. So yeah, I really appreciate that. We got to get ourselves a cocoa bean farm set up somewhere now. And another thing. Here a couple episodes ago. I pranked Apache, planted a whole bunch of the fir trees around his place, and so he returned the favor. At least I'm assuming it was him. So he has planted a whole bunch of these fir trees over here on the edge of the river here. They look nice, but they're too much of a row. I, I'm probably going to keep a few of them here. But I think I'm going to put some of them a little lower down and kind of break them up a little because, yeah, I'd, straight rows, yeah, not so much. But yeah, we do have this building to tear down. That's going to be something that I'm going to be doing here just shortly. But before I do that, we have a big issue going on here, and that is our storage. We have chests and crates all over the place. Now, I pretty much know where most items are in here, but we're running out of space for a lot of items, like our cobblestone. Cobblestone is in this crate, it's in that crate, and it's in this chest. Smooth stone is in here and in here. Uh, sandstone is now in a double chest instead of a single chest. We've had multiple times where this crate with uh, or chest with gravel in it has filled up uh, we've had a lot of times that this double chest full of charcoal and plant fiber and torches and things like that has filled up I've had problems with this chest that has the nether items in it you know just in general it's been a big mess even this guy this double chest full of saplings I've had to pull items out of it and deal with that and then also I'm getting items over here where we've got multiple crates of prismarine bricks and multiple crates of prismarine and yet yeah, storage is a big mess here and so I think today we are finally going to update this we're gonna kind of keep a little bit of the crates and chests for uh, random items and non stackable items and things like that so like our mob drops and uh, up upstairs we have all of the the armor and weapons stuff we'll keep those around but the majority of our stackable items and items that we have a lot of are going to go into a storage drawers system so storage drawers doesn't have the standard storage drawer available we have to make framed drawers and then these framed drawers can be skinned any way we want in a framing table so let's go ahead and start out by making the framing table. I guess we should have one of those somewhere. Well, actually in here we have a couple of pieces. Ah, oh, there it is. Haha! <laughs> what a concept! I had it on me. So I want to take this upstairs or... No, actually, right here. This looks like a really good place for that. So... Yeah, we'll put that there, and I'm assuming, yes, we gained some spawnable spaces when I broke that. So now, 
we need to make some frame drawers. So we get single frame drawers, which are sticks around a chest. Well, six sticks in a chest. And that makes one of those. We have the one by two, which takes two chests, six sticks, and a plank, but that gives us two of them. The two by two drawers, which take four chests, a plank, and four sticks, and that gives us four. And then we have some half ones, which take half slabs, but they still hold the same amount of space. I'm not entirely sure how that works. But, so we're going to, or no, they do hold half of the amount of stuff. Nice. And then we also have trim available, and the trim is for nothing more than bringing the items together. And I thought I heard something up here walking around. Let's get rid of that guy. So, yeah, we will start out by making some of these. We should have a bunch of sticks. I just went and was wandering around the Twilight Forest for a while. So I did pick up a whole bunch of sticks, so that's good. We need those. We're going to need a bunch of planks. And actually, I think we have we have a whole bunch of dark oak. We have a bunch of birch, a bunch of acacia. Hmm. Well, whatever we use here is not going to be exposed. We have a lot of birch wood here. So I think I'm going to grab birch for this, and then we will make these out of birch so we're gonna start out by making yeah, I don't know maybe 16 of these bigger drawers that will be used for our more common items and you know what we are going to need a lot of we're gonna need a lot of planks we're just gonna grab all of the planks that we have currently I think that's a, a good way to do this. We're going to use up some of this wood that we have. Okay, let's make a stack of chests. That's gonna be something that's gonna be important. Whoops, trap chest. I don't I don't want a trap chest. No. Whatever. We'll just put them in manually, I guess. Thought that was the idea of having any eye. Whatever. All right, so 64 more chests, and you know, let's make another 16 of those. I think that sounds like a good idea. Whoops. There we go. So we'll make 16 more of those. We'll have half a stack of the framed drawers. Next up, we have the 1x2 drawers. Now, these are going to be for more common items but not quite so common items. So like I say, these are gonna take a plank and then the six sticks and two chests. So these are actually a bit less efficient on resources versus the others. But we do get two of them, but it takes a half a plank for each one. Now I don't think that we want a whole stack of those. Let's go ahead and make 32 of those as well. Then the two by two drawers. Now these are going to be for the bulk of our quantity of items. So this is gonna make 40 right now. We're going to need more sticks and we're going to need more chests. Okay, well, let's make more chests. So 14 more. Oh, I know I can make more than that. Whoops. Doo, doo, doo. Really? Darn you. Stop it. There we go. All right, another stack and a half of chests. So now, that's the wrong one. We have one plank. Wow. Okay, what else do we have available for planks? Those. We will drop off these guys. And the birch is gone. Spruce we have a whole bunch of. We still have to decide what we're going to make this look like. So let's try this again. Two by two. And this will make... What? Uh, 16 of them would be a stack. So we're going to have a stack and a half. 
we can live with that. So that is two and a half stacks of drawers. Now that by itself would be really nice. We could go through and we can see the items for starters because they're displayed on the front. But we have gone to the between lands. We have done a whole bunch of stuff there. So we want to make the drawer controller. Now this will allow us to interact with the entire bank of drawers all at once. And so we can put a chest with a hopper like this dumping into the side of the controller and it will fill the drawers up to, I think it's 12 blocks away with the appropriate items. So to make this thing, we need a whole bunch of stuff. This recipe has changed. Yes, it has. This recipe has changed. Platinum plates, nether amethyst blocks. I'm pretty sure that is not the recipe because I could have sworn we needed some of the middle gems for that. Ooh. Well, that is going to take a little bit of stuff to put together because I don't think we have enough platinum. So we need four platinum plates for that. Oh, no, we do. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna have to melt these guys. All right, well, let me gather up the stuff for these plates or for the this controller. The nether amethyst block is going to be a problem. So we are going to have to head to the nether for a little bit. So I'm gonna let that go. Clear out my inventory here real quick. We'll just drop this stuff off in here. Acacia. All right, so nether amethyst is what we're going after. Well, it's gonna take me just a bit to fly over to the nether portal and uh, I will meet you guys in the nether. All right, so it is time for us to head into the nether. Now, one of our advancements states that we need to use or that we can use a level three or prospector to find this stuff. So that is kind of nice. So, yeah, normal Minecraft sounds. Lively quartz ore. Hmm. But uh, it doesn't say anything about where this stuff can be found. And I'm sure we're gonna find a lot of that lively quartz ore. Oh yeah, and my perk is gonna be dropping that stuff all over gloomy quartz ore um oh that guy so a few of the mobs around here we're gonna have fun with those so yeah let's just kind of take a look around the nether here for a little while so these are spin outs they actually drop stone gears from time to time this guy didn't drop anything but we do have a lot of quartz up here. That's always good. Now I do have silk touch on this. So yeah. Oh my gosh, there is a lot of this. What was another mite? <laughs> okay. But yeah, gonna kind of look around here for a little bit, see what we can find. We're looking for the nether amethyst. Of course, we will take nether quartz because this stuff can be used to make the uh, stardust. So yeah, very handy for that. And what are you guys? I'm guessing that's gonna burn us, no? But yeah, vines in the nether. Oh, and it acts kind of like cobwebs. Oh, those are, those are just cruel. But yeah, I'm going to look around here for a while. I haven't seen a nether fortress or any of this ore that we're looking for anywhere around here. So I'm just going to be kind of digging around. Ow! Stupid cinder, cinderous blooms, whatever they are. 
but yeah lots of uh, ore collection for a little while here and if I find any of that ore I will bring you guys back in so I managed to find one of these but they are extremely rare so they apparently oh god we got one but they can apparently only be found in biomes where regular netherrack is the block now another problem i was trying to deal with a heat scar spider and my area of effect hit a zombie pigman and so now i have zombie pigman mad at me everywhere so yeah i am going to have to be exploring this biome here to see if i can locate this nether amethyst i need at least nine of them but another thing i am missing one of my bags so i need to see if i can find that and uh yeah i'll be back in a little bit well, I'm still having a terrible time finding this nether amethyst, but I think I've got something that's going to help me out now. So I went ahead and made another one of my mantle of stars, and this one is attuned to mineralis. Now, one of the effects of the mineralis mantle of stars is it will show you where the block that you are holding is located. So if I switch to nether quartz, we start to see nether quartz all over the place. Now I have been utilizing this as I search for more of the nether amethyst. And uh, yeah, I've gotten a, a little bit of nether quartz. And this is just a tiny bit that I've gotten since I came back to the nether. So I've just been digging around as I dig, I kind of probe a little bit to see if I can find some of the nether amethyst and I've been having a lot of these guys show up nether mites so yeah it's just kind of a uh, digging around trying to find this stuff and eventually I will find one and hopefully we can start to get a much easier time of finding it at that point because it should show up now I have found out the range of this mantle is not great but it does have a decent range. Yeah, probably about, I don't know, 16 blocks or something. So, yeah, just going to keep digging around here, see if I can find some more of that. Oh, wow, there's a whole bunch there. But see if I can find some more of that nether amethyst. And, yeah, it seems Fortune 3 is supposed to help, but I tried using Fortune 3 on the four that I have found so far of the nether amethyst and yeah I got four crystals so not entirely sure what was going on there but awful lot of nether quartz oh god that is so helpful so I finally found one and just a tiny bit away there's another one so yeah, I should be able to very rapidly locate my nether amethyst that I need. I'm probably going to try to get a little bit more than I actually need to make this drawer controller. So there's the next one. We've got two now. Oh, there's another one. Come on, show it to me again. Or was that the same one? Oh, that was these guys. All right, well, I'm going to continue digging. Shouldn't take me too long to find the rest of this nether amethyst now. Well, I am back here in the overworld. Got a huge amount of stuff from that expedition to the nether, which, by the way, set up a nether portal over here by my teleportation area. So, yeah, we don't have to worry about the amount of time to get to our uh, nether stuff now, but we did get... A huge amount of nether quartz and actually if we go in here let's grab all of the nether quartz that I've gotten on this expedition because I had you know, I might have had a little bit of nether quartz in here before but it definitely was not much but if we look at how much nether quartz there is here this is absolutely ridiculous 
<laughs> so we've got gloomy nether quartz, lively nether quartz, fiery quartz, and then we've got tons and tons of the regular quartz. So we'll be able to uh, use all of these in order to find our additional stuff in the nether later on. So I'm going to drop as much of this stuff in there as I can. Obviously the storage is absolutely horrendous there. We need a lot more storage in order to deal with all of this. So I did get 15 more of these nether amethysts, so I've got 19 total. I am going to keep one in my tools bag, that way I don't have to go hunting for them again next time. And uh, now we're going to fortune these, so there was five there, I already had four. Okay, so fortune is actually working. I just got very unlucky on the first ones. So nine more. 39 nether amethyst. Wonderful. So our uses on this is to make the nether amethyst block. We can also make purple slime. I don't know why we would want to do that. But so we should be ready now to make our controller for these drawers, storage drawers. So let's go ahead and take a look at that one more time. Storage, store god, store gay? No. Okay, so for this we need the platinum plates. I still need to make those. Okay. We also need some redstone, redstone engineering blocks, which we've seen all of this. In fact, we've made one of those not too long ago. And then we need a star metal ingot. So let me gather up the last of the stuff that we need for this and then I will be back. So I have all of the items to make this controller now. I've also changed the appearance of my uh, drawers so that we have an acacia wood border, an andesite edge, and the drawer front is spruce. I don't know, it kind of makes it look like it has a copper border. We'll just have to see what it looks like when I set a bunch of them down. But if we grab the drawer controller now, this will allow us to just dump stuff together. And so we've gotten the advancement storage drawer controller. Now I got another advancement while I was in the nether. Um, we, of course we got the nether amethyst ore. And uh, it seems like there was another one that I got too. Hmm, maybe it was an age two? I cannot remember what it was now. I think it was the nether amethyst, but I can't remember. But anyway, so now if we take this drawer controller and place it somewhere like here, I don't know, that seems like a good spot. So we'll move a bunch of this stuff around here and yeah, this is going to be rather painful at first as we start to get things set up. So we're going to start out with our large drawers. So we have these guys. No, those are the one by two. I need the one by one. The single drawers. So we're going to set up a bunch of these. And now we can take and set a hopper here. That's not the right chest. So we're actually going to set two hoppers here. We're going to set one here and one here. And then we can take, we want our cobblestone to go in here. So we're going to take and put cobblestone on these two hoppers. Now, another thing that we can do though, I guess I can't put that there because this. Yeah. Okay, so now let's grab this, place that there. So now we can see the cobblestone is going in here. It's not going in very fast, but also we can click on here and we can see there are upgrades available. So we can put seven upgrades in this thing, and those are these here. So we have our storage upgrades. We have the number one, which will double the storage, which takes blocks of coal. Then we have the uh, tier two, which will make it four times, which is some iron ingots. Then we have three, which is gold, which will take it eight times. And this will continue to advance as things go on. We also have the void upgrade, which will destroy excess items, which is a good one for cobblestone, smooth stone, nether rack, things like that that you're going to get a lot of. We have two uh, 
status upgrades that will show full storage and fill level. Then we have a redstone upgrade which will emit a signal for the total storage. We have the redstone max upgrades, upgrade which emits a signal for the most full slot and that works for the multiple slotted storage drawers. And then one that emits for the least full slot. So we've got several of those. We also have a storage downgrade, which will change it to a single stack. Don't know why we would want to do that, but I'm sure there's some places. And then there's the conversion upgrade, which will automatically convert the compatible items. So things like, uh, I think these ores over here, we would be able to automatically convert the iron clusters from geolysis into Minecraft iron ore. I think that would work. I'm not entirely sure on that, but I think it would. But now this, like I said, this is really slow. So somewhere here, we have a whole bunch more cobblestone. So if we go here and grab a bunch of that and just double, and I guess we have to be able to do this on the face, don't we? So it is not working because we have a hopper in the way. Let's go ahead and break a hopper move a chest I don't know but if we double click on the face of that it will place all possible items that we have into the chest so, or into the storage drawer system so this is a much faster way of doing that but we will be setting up chests with hoppers later on because well quite frankly we come up and just uh, double click our inventory onto it and we're good and it looks like that actually filled that storage drawer yes that one is full we're starting to fill into another one we don't want to do that so we're gonna break this and pull all of these out of there all right so I think it's time to make some storage upgrades I'm gonna make some gold ones put uh, I suppose I'll probably put uh, six gold storage upgrades on that one and then I'll continue on but we need a lot more sticks if we're gonna do that and currently my horsepower sawmill is disabled which is the easiest way to get sticks if we look at the recipe on these sticks we can get them from uh, straining we can manually chop them or use the chopping block to get them from logs we can cook a bow or we have some items that we can drop in front of the saw to make that work as well. But yeah, gotta make a whole bunch of this stuff because, well, quite frankly, need more storage. So I now have a huge amount of my items put into storage drawers. I have made an entire stack of the iron upgrades and I've been trying to place those where I need them. I actually needed some in the dies because there was too many of those. Now I still have a lot of items in crates here. And I want to keep some of that stuff over here because there's a lot of things like this. This would take a huge amount of space in the drawers. But I don't anticipate getting a lot more of this kind of stuff. You know, same thing with the mob drops. I took out some of the stuff, like the gunpowder and, uh, oh, the glue. I put bones and rotten flesh up here, and actually that one is going to need a couple of upgrades. That one's already upgraded, but so I've got a lot of the nether-related things in this area. Uh, this is primarily traverse and then plant things, dyes, clay uh redstone and it's thundering outside glass prismarine roofing you know i've got a little bit of organization to it this over here is primarily my stone and rock areas and i put the compacting drawer in here for the sandstone i think i may also put one of those in here for the glowstone don't think it's going to work for the blaze powder but we could give it a try i do have the sticks up here i'm going to go ahead and give those another stack or well I think that's the first stack upgrade there 
And I've got all of my wood stuff over here on this side. You can see there's still a lot of open areas in these drawers. So we've still got room for a lot of stuff. Now I haven't tried to put any of the stuff from the Twilight Forest in there. And there's a few other things that I just, yeah, like this Primal Core Stones. Yeah, I don't think it's really worthwhile to put those in there. Now I have emptied out a lot of crates. So these are all of the crates that I emptied out in doing this. So there was a huge amount of that stuff taken care of. I had to move my bookshelves. But I have determined that this drawer controller can reach the entire array of drawers. So that is amazing that it has that kind of reach. So, yep, that's where we're at on this. Now I want to say thanks guys for the incredible amount of support that you have given me. We have actually surpassed a milestone here on the channel. Uh, 46 episodes in this series. It is the most that we have ever had in a single series. We've had two other series with 45. So, yeah, be sure that you're hitting that like button. Make sure that you let me know that you're enjoying it. But that's going to be it for this episode because I am out of time. So I'm going to say thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button like I said. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Check out Apache and Wandering One. Links are down in the description. And I will see you next time. Bye.